Hello, welcome back to Rev Solutions. Today we're going to be installing the RNG radiator guard to the Kawasaki Vulcan S650. Before we install it, I'm going to take you along for the ride. We're actually going to pick it up from RNG headquarters up in Alton in Hampshire. So let's jump in the car, head on out onto the road, and let's pick it up. Right, so I've just picked up the Kawasaki Vulcan 650 radiator guard. So in a moment, I'll show you installing that. And I've also picked up some nano coating for the Vulcan 650. And I'll go also show you installing this onto the bike to give it some good paint protection. So let's get cracking. So here is the actual radiator guard for the Kawasaki Vulcan S650. This is for a 2015 model upwards. So if you've got a model that is newer than 2015, you can buy this from RNG. It's around about 50 pounds and it should be an absolutely fantastic product to fit across the radiator. So let's take this off. So here is the radiator guard and that will fit quite nicely just in front of it. We've got instructions, rubber braces, cable ties, stickers. So let's get this packet open and have a look. Okay, so the instructions for this are actually on a QR code for the Vulcan. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually scan the QR code. Right, so I've scanned it, given me the website for RNG. So once you've actually scanned the QR code, it comes up with a website onto RNG and it actually shows you here how to install it. Now for this one you don't actually have to take these side sections off which is really really handy. It looks like it's just going to be a case of it will fit straight over there and you're just going to have to undo a bolt that's just around the back here. So let's get that bolt un undone. Now what we're going to be doing is uninstalling this bolt here which will allow us to clip on the radiator guard underneath and once that is done we're going to place it just over here and just here and then cable tie it to the actual top of the radiator. So let's get that install sorted. So we'll start with a 10mm ratchet spanner just to get this loosened off. As you can see I'm having to use a Phillips screw head and try and reach. It is quite difficult because where it actually comes out the exhaust manifold is right in the middle so you can't get a good turn on a ratchet but nevertheless we've got the actual bolt out so i'll put that one down in the middle there now when it actually comes to this rng radiator guard let's have a look at the instructions that we've got so i don't know if you can see there the cable ties go over the top and you've got the foam at different points throughout the radiator guard. So this is a bolt I've just undone. Let's have a look. So it goes under there, cable ties over the top, just like that. So it is pretty straightforward to cable tie on and it bolts on in one position. Let's just line this radiator guard up. So we've hooked it underneath come over the back and we got it on so that is how it is going to sit when it's actually in its right place and it sits right in the middle of these black panels on the radiator the water inlets so I don't know where we're going to put the actual foam pads because when you look at the radiator it doesn't have any areas that I would want to stick the foam pads onto I'll just show you this a little bit closer as you can see there is a little gap there but I think once it's cable tied on I don't think you're going to have many issues but it's a really really nice fit it's 
it's going to stop any stones going straight into the radiator and smashing it so what we're going to do is we're going to get this installed put it on properly and hopefully come across no issues let's get on to it because of the extra distance with the radiator guard on rng actually supply a longer bolt this is a alum key bolt rather than a phillips bolt so we've got that on now the fiddly part starts actually doing it up it is not easy this manifold if you're going to replace the exhaust and you don't have a radiator guard i strongly suggest replacing the exhaust at the same time as the radiator guard it will just make your life a lot easier however i think we've almost got it there we go that is installed ideally i want to do this up a little bit tighter okay last section now is to loop the cable tie around the top here and again on the other side and then secure it down now i think this part is going to be <laughs> very very difficult i might have to put so put a slight bend in the actual cable tie hoping i've had to put you down for a moment so i could actually use two hands to get this put through and let's just try and fiddle that through with one hand there we go cable tie is on so pull it down nice and tight there we go that is going nowhere so that is basically what we're aiming for on the opposite side now so as you can see it looks so much better with that black rng radiator guard on let's get the other side sorted and there we go we've got the second one on nice and tight that radiator guard is going that radiator guard is going nowhere so it's definitely a two-hand job on this but once you've got it sorted it is absolutely perfect as you can see nice and easy only took a few moments to do if you weren't recording for youtube but it looks fantastic that's going to give that radiator so much protection now the reason i had to go out and buy one of these straight away is that my friend uh, unfortunately took a stone to his radiator on his yamaha tracer 900 gt there's a link with the video for that bike on my review on the channel last thing we're going to be doing is just cutting off the cable ties just so it looks nice and tidy and you can't see the cable ties so that is a really really easy to install radiator guard the only fiddly bit is that bolt at the back of the radiator in between the manifold if you've got small hands it shouldn't be a problem but if you've got a good tool that you can actually wiggle it around and get that bolt out with again you're going to have no problems so big thumbs up to rng for creating a fantastic looking radiator guard for the kawasaki vulcan s 650 2015 onwards this is a 2021 brand new so that is the installation of the rng radiator guard for the kawasaki vulcan s 650 2021 model nice and simple give us a big thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to the channel until next time ride safe and we'll see you soon